Want to make your own custom home decor sign? Today I'm going to show you just how with just a canvas, some acrylic paint, and some craft vinyl, also known as sticker vinyl. To get started with your Scan and Cut DX, you're going to select your pattern. In this case, I'm using a heart, and you're going to size it. I know I want it about seven and a half inches high, which will also be the width. And I'm going to place it that I'm going to scan my mat. And the reason I'm scanning the mat, and I'm just going to leave this part here in the video so you can see how fast this works, is I'm using a smaller piece of vinyl. I'm not using the full sheet. So I want to make sure that my heart fits on here. And I want to make sure that I get a great cut. So I can see where the white material is. I'm using white vinyl. You can use any color you like for this part because you're not actually going to use the vinyl. I'm just using the edit function to slightly tilt my heart so that it fits a little better onto my piece of vinyl. Then I'm going to go in and select cut. Once I have selected cut, I'm going to make sure that the half cut is on, which you can do there in the tool screen, and start. Once it is cut, I'm going to peel away the heart itself, but I'm not going to get rid of that heart. I'm going to save it. You'll see it in a moment. And then applying transfer material down onto my heart and so I can, so everything but the heart I should say, so that I can transfer all of that vinyl onto my canvas. Now you could try doing this without the transfer material. It'll just be a little trickier, uh, just a little harder to move, but it is absolutely possible. So it's really up to you what you would like to do. Now, once I have this down, I am gonna go, remember I removed that heart, but I said I wasn't getting rid of it. I'm going to be using it and cutting it up here to cover other areas of the canvas. Because of this painting technique, I really want to make sure that I get this just right. I really want to make sure that I don't have any gaps where the paint could accidentally go onto my canvas. So I'm just covering up the little areas. Now, if for some reason a dot of paint gets somewhere or I missed a spot, it's not a problem. We can always wipe it away or cover it up onward onward and upward so now we have got some white acrylic paint now I'm using acrylic paint you use whatever you have whatever you like then I'm just kind of pulling colors that I want for this kind of pastel sunset style of rainbow and I'm just laying them across the heart so by doing it this way by using the scan and cut to make that stencil of sorts and then removing the heart and using everything but the heart we're just creating a really cool layer. Now I put the white down for two reasons. Number one, it is still wet, so it will show through and mix with the colors and make some cool effects. But number two, it's going to ensure a really crisp removal. When I pull this stencil off, the effect is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold spray color um, that you see me flicking on there. I'm also gonna add a little bit of iridescent white glitter. You could add anything else you like at this point. You could mix your colors as much as you would like. Whatever you might like to do here, it's totally up to you. There's no wrong answer. I just like to do everything here while this is wet before removing the stencil, removing the vinyl. So watch what happens. It's really super cool. The edges are really, really crisp especially because of that white base layer. That just means that if any paint got underneath the stencil or somehow under that vinyl, it is going to not show up. And it's not going to show up because, you guessed it, we have got it covered with that white paint. So now what I've got is I've got a piece of paper out. Oh, time lapse here, by the way. I let the, I let the paint completely dry. Now it's completely dry and I'm writing love is love over the top just so I can see the size. Then I'm gonna go in with a thick pen and I'll go two or three times over and trace and thicken my lines until I have it exactly how I want it. Now just with a thin piece of printer paper, I'm actually able to see that beautiful painted designed through the paper so I can make sure it's exactly what I want. Using the scan and cut, we are going to scan in our handwriting and I'm going to use black vinyl, but you could use any color you want. I am making my own cut file right here out of my own handwriting. I love how this brings so much customization to the project, and I love the end results too. This is one of my favorite projects I've made 
in a long time. So I'm selecting the middle button at the top is selecting for the outside and the inside of the lines to cut. I'm just adjusting if there's anything that I want to alter here as far as ignoring object sizes. That's if there's little tiny marks that it's picking up. And then I'm going to save this to the machine. Now, for cutting this, we're going to obviously want to go get our vinyl, load our vinyl onto our mat. To retrieve the data, this is in the machine, so you're going to click machine. Then it's always going to be the very bottom, very last one, because that it goes in order of most recent. Now, I am going to go into edit and select all the pieces and I'm going to unify them. This is simply so that I can move this around my mat and change where it is. This would also be used if you were trying to size up and down at all, you would use that right there. We're gonna go into cut and half cut is already selected or not. If not, you're gonna reselect it. And that is so that the vinyl cuts, but the backing paper does not. You're going to weed, in other words, remove all of the vinyl that you do not want to transfer. And we're gonna get out the transfer material again, but this time we are actually transferring this on to our project to stay. Now, sometimes with the finer lines, I might get a little tool out to kind of assist the finer bits to stick where I want them to stick, as you see me doing right here. Once everything is stuck down there, you're going to lift up and you might need to help a few spots along since we're on mixed media and lumpy, bumpy paint and canvas and everything. Another thing you can do is to get a sealant. I'm using a matte finish sealant here and you can apply a thin layer of sealant over the entire project to ensure everything stays put, glitter included for a long time to come. This project turned out so beautifully. I am so in love with it. And I hope you like how simple and easy mixed media can be. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the Brother channel for more tutorials, ideas, and creative fun.